we all drive crazy. It was horrible to drive in Texas. So I would tell you it is way better <laughs> driving in Phoenix, Arizona than it is in Texas. If you don't know Phoenix, Arizona is the, is the hottest city in the United States. I still love it, <laughs> but it is still over a hundred degrees. In my opinion, at some point, I don't really care about dry heat, wet heat, humid heat. It's just hot. Because <laughs> the question always comes up is like, you know, long term, do I find myself living here? The answer is <laughs> Hey everyone, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. My name is Faith. And in this video, I will be talking about what it's been like living in Phoenix, Arizona. My husband and I have been living here for over two years now. We're actually going into our third year. So I am here to give a, an unfiltered, unbiased perspective on what it really is like living in Phoenix, Arizona for as long as we have. Obviously, there are people who have lived here more. So feel free to tell us about your experience what it's been like, what you love, what you don't love about living in Phoenix, Arizona. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So my husband and I, we've been living here for two and a half years and we did relocate from Iowa. The first thing that I would say is that not a whole lot of things have changed. The only thing that has really changed from then versus now is that excitement of living in a new city. I still you know, enjoy being here, which we're gonna get into it more. My job um, supported in the relocation, which I will 100% continue to advise people who are thinking about moving to Phoenix, Arizona. If you can have a career opportunity lined up before moving, and if your employer is able to pay for all the expense of your relocation, definitely opt for that. The second thing is obviously one of the main decisions that prompted us to move to Phoenix, Arizona has been the weather and I still love it. <laughs> I still love the weather and it is literally one of the main reasons still keeping me. I would say even if I am a lover of the hot weather, I would say that it is very hot it does get hot we are kind of i want to say we are getting to the tail end of the brutal summer <laughs> the brutal summer heat but it is still over 100 degrees a lot of states are probably like this is ridiculous it's still hot i know we like to make the argument that it's dry heat let me tell you in my opinion at some point i don't really care about dry heat wet heat humid heat it's just hot. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't living outside. Obviously, it's so much easier because, you know, going into the car, air conditioned car, going to the office, air conditioned, coming back to your house, air conditioned, going to the store. All the places you're going into are pretty much air conditioned. So, it is not that bad to go through the summer in Arizona. But if you are, let's say, a construction worker or you work something that has to do with outdoors, Honey, you will not like it. Even if you are a lover of the heat, you will not like it. Mm, 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 mm. So we are approaching monsoon season. That is probably my least favorite time um, of the year living in Arizona. Yes, if you don't know what monsoon is, please Google it. I'll put the description up here so you really know what it is. But pretty much heavy rain, flooding, it's just awful driving. Like it's, the thing is you can't really tell how bad the weather or the storm is going to be. You could be on the road and boom, it starts to storm and it's really hard to drive. Like literally the wind and the rain is competing, which that leads me to the next point. I think the more and more I live here, <laughs> the more we just realize that at this point, I don't want to say Arizona or Phoenix drivers drive crazy. I live here. We all drive crazy because at some point you just got to get as crazy as everybody. I have driven in Texas, like the Dallas area and Dallas is supposed to, supposedly supposed to be the chilled guy, the chilled brother of the Texas cities. Texas are horrible it's horrible to drive in texas so i would tell you it is way better <laughs> driving in phoenix arizona than it is in texas and this is coming from someone who has driven in la i've driven in atlanta i've driven in different cities in texas i've driven in even chicago so i will tell you 
I've not driven in New York and I have no business or intent of ever doing that in my life, but some other major cities I have driven in and I will take Phoenix driving anytime, any day. We is not as crazy as this other cities, this major cities. Get covers for your cars if you don't have covered parking um, and also try your best to make sure your seats are covered because those are hot. I think I've been talking a little bit about some negatives or some issues or little wonky wonky things living in Phoenix, Arizona, but I would definitely say I do love this city because the question always comes up is like, you know, long term, do I find myself living here? The answer is yes and no. I don't know. The thing is, you just never know. I, I don't think it would probably be uh, for my husband and I if it makes sense to be here long term just because we just moved here. We don't have family here um, and we just kind of built all the relationships that we have here so it probably won't make sense for us long term but we do absolutely love living in Phoenix Arizona but it's just the two of us so obviously we can say that um, and we're absolutely flexible to live um, wherever uh, but we have found um, jobs and careers here that we really like um, and you know you just never know I mean keep your options open but I really do love it here since moving here one of the things I do not regret doing I think we got lucky and it's been one of the best decisions we've made is the area or part of the Phoenix Metroplex that we chose to live in the North the North Phoenix area right at the border with North Scottsdale. Uh, so I absolutely love it here. We love it so much that literally, we lived at our, at our last apartment for two years and when we were getting ready to move, we literally moved down the street. We have Fashion Square that's pretty close and we also have Desert Ridge that is literally close to us. It's a lot more chill to live in the North Phoenix area uh, and compared to different parts of Phoenix, especially for just how chill and safer it is up here than other parts of um, different metroplex within Phoenix, I would say that you get better bang for your buck if you live North Phoenix. Not saying that there are other parts of the city or a metroplex that you can live in. Actually, the next video I have coming up, I was able to, I, I did select pick some apartments that I really do like in different areas of the Phoenix metroplex areas that I would recommend someone who's moving to Phoenix, Arizona to probably check out. Not saying that these are the apartments that you need to move to, but these are just areas and some apartments in those areas that I would recommend in this different pockets of the Phoenix metroplex area. I definitely went for safe, um, reasonably affordable, um, at least all the apartments you can find, um, you can get them, get one for under $2,000. I am not here to show you cheap apartments to go live in. I'm not in the business of doing that. I'm also looking at safe areas, um, amenities that the apartment complex has to offer, um, how you know easy it is or how accessible it is to shop in areas or stores or different resources that you may need for someone who just recently moved to the city. You have you may also need to consider where your job location is. Like I said, there are different there are other areas that are pretty safe as well and you can get um, some apartments or houses for a reasonably priced amount. So, yeah, it's really up to you. I hope you do find something that works best for you and your family. If you do have any other questions that you may have, please leave it down in the comments section below and I'll be happy to answer it if I have the answer. I know a lot of the times people do say that living in Phoenix, Arizona is very expensive, which is absolutely understanding. Phoenix, Arizona has been growing and it's getting more and more expensive, which is kind of like obviously a turn off reason for anyone who may want to be moving here. Um, but I would say that there are opportunities here. There are career opportunities. Yes, the competition is pretty high. Um, and also, you know, everyone is trying to look for the best gig out here. So if you have any opportunities that you're looking for, I would say try to pursue those before moving to the city. It's a lot easier for you to have something lined up before moving here because expenses can rack up pretty quick and I don't want you to be stranded. Be sure to subscribe to the next video about different apartments and how much they cost in different areas and different parts of Phoenix will be coming up in next week's video. So if you're not subscribed, subscribe to my channel and turn on that bell notification so YouTube will notify you anytime I post a new video. Thanks guys for watching. Bye.